Hello guys and welcome to my very first overview review of a stuff pack. I'm going to be going over the Sims 3 movie stuff pack. Um, here is the lovely loading screen. I like it. Um, not sure if I love it yet, but I do like it. It's nice. So yeah, this is my first review. I'm not necessarily going to be reviewing. Just kind of doing a little overview of what's new, what I like, what I don't like, and then kind of just whether or not I think it was worth $20. So let's get right into it then. Alright, so here we are in Create a Sim, and let's go ahead and see what is new. Um, I have it filtered for just movie stuff pack, so hopefully uh, my cast won't lag so much. So first of all, we have a cowboy hat, because what else would you have? Um, it's actually, it's pretty nice. Um, yeah, that's really all I've got to say about it. Um, I'd probably end up using it if I made like a farm, farmy family with like the cow set and stuff. Um, next up is this thing. Um, Peacock Man? I, I don't know. I'm assuming this is supposed to be superhero-ish or villain, villain-like. Um, it's, it's interesting for sure. Uh, freezer bunny head guy. This is probably villain. Yeah. Um, nice. I mean, okay, for the most part, I'll never use this stuff, really. But, honestly, they did a really good job with the detail and, and I mean, the design of the stuff. It's not practical for, for most Sims players, but it's kind of neat and it's it's cool to have you know um so we have brains because you can never have enough brains um d d oh a skunk hat that's kind of interesting um all right so i'm gonna put him in this thing because i found it to be the most entertaining personally so we'll leave him in that um, snow hair stuff. So let's go on to the clothes. So here we have some more western style outfits. Um, yeah. I mean, they're really nice. The detail on them is very nice. Um, this reminds me of like Sherlock Holmes y type things. It's actually a pretty classy outfit for the right guy. I could, I would probably use this for something. Um, whoa. Um, well, this is interesting. Um, I can't honestly think of anything I would ever, ever need something like this for but it's interesting so points for <laughs> points for creativity oh dear lord what what in the world like i just want to know the thought process behind this really that's what i want to know what is the reason for this to be existing i don't know um, I don't know if this is like, you know, from some like horror porn movie, I'm not sure, but it's, I just hope I never have to see like a townie walking around in this, cause I will lose it, like, lose it. Um, so yeah, this is a bit weird for me personally, but... It is very um, interesting if you're into men in corsets and lace collars and, you know, women style underpants. So that's that. Moving on. Um, we have a very Dr. Evil military style outfit villain thing. So that's fun. Um, could be useful and into the future. It could kind of fit that theme. 
Um, so that's cool. And now to probably the best but least practical stuff. Yep, it's definitely like Peacock Man. So I love this so much. Um, I think it's great. I think it's very well done. I, I have no idea, but I will find a use for this stuff because it is just fantastic. I love superheroes. I love comic books. Um, so yeah, this is definitely, definitely awesome. I love these so much. And it'll be so cool when Into the Future comes out and there's jetpacks and like all kinds of cool things and robots. I'm gonna have like my own little Iron Man going on and it is going to be awesome. So yeah, these are all really nice. Um, that pink, that pink one's funny. Uh, these are really cool. Really cool outfits. I really love them. We're gonna leave him in his Peacock Man suit and we'll check out the shoes. There's finally new shoes. Um, what do we got? We got some short cowboy boots. Um, eh, they feel a little girly to me, but you know, can never have enough cowboy boots, I suppose. Um, we've got these. Oh, these are kind of like, yeah, eh. Oh, they're nice. They're nice. I'm not sure how well they'll fit under pants though, so I'll have to see on that. Um, these are a nice pair of boots. I'd use them. Mm. Oh, here we go. So the <laughs> these are his matching shoes with the little peacock detail on the front. Um, they're nice. They're I don't know what else to say about them. Um, let's see. Got these boots. Very nice as well. Great for into the future. Um, okay, yeah, so these are with the Freezer Bunny outfit. I will likely never use these unless I'm making a Freezer Bunny man. And then there are these ones, the more robot type shoes which I will likely be using for into the future. So we'll put him back in those. I don't think there are any new accessories. Don't see why there would be, no. All right, so we are gonna leave him to his Peacock Man glory and go over to the women's stuff. Nice look. And see what we've got there. So go to the hairs and first up we've got this one um I don't hate it don't particularly love it um I could I could probably use it I don't know I, I'm not sure how I feel about it we'll see um, this one, this one's alright. Um, I don't really like how EA does their, like it, you know how it just looks so crunchy on top? Like, no one's, no one's hair does that. I don't know. Uh, it's not bad. I'll probably use it. It'd be a cool style for like a teen or, you know supernatural maybe some witches but yeah it's you know it's all right uh this one is even more wild and crunchy um i like the bangs uh yeah i'm i'm not really impressed with the female hairstyles i think they took a step backwards <laughs> in the hairstyle department, but um, let's see what we have in the hair with accessories. Oh good, more little hats. 
Because that's exactly what this game needs, is more tiny hats. Um, well, at least the hairstyle underneath it's nice. I just don't think I have a purpose for a tiny hat. So moving on, we've got the same crunchy hairstyle, but it looks like there's a feather in it. Um, so that's that. We've got some of the, probably the nicest hairstyle in terms of the way it looks, with some, you know, veily things. Um, it's nice. Yeah. I'm just not, uh... I don't know, I'm not really impressed with the hair. Um, these, of course, for the superhero outfits. Um, I like it, it's cute. I just wish, I wish the girl's hair would come down. It's, I don't really like how in The Sims 3 most of the hat styles, they have their hair all tucked up in it, which is not really realistic because if you're someone like me with really long thick hair you're not getting all that hair up in there you just let it let it hang down and do its thing you know what I mean um so this is very Wonder Woman Wonder Woman-esque I like it it's really perfect for that kind of style um yeah we've got this you know, this is actually pretty nice. It reminds me of custom content. I don't really like the giant flower on the side, but looking at it objectively, where all of this stuff is supposed to look kind of ridiculous, um, it's actually really nice. It's my favorite, for sure. Moving on, we've got this guy, the women's freezer bunny hat, in a nice little ponytail. Um, this is kind of meh, comparatively to the men's version. Not as much detail on it, it's just basically a headband with some shit stuck on it. Um, this one, this is cute. Cute hairstyle. And this one actually goes with, I'm pretty sure, my favorite outfit. Um, the hairstyle, I wish it was a little bit longer, maybe? Um, I don't know, it looks kind of like a mom haircut to me. No offense to moms out there, but it's very mom haircut with a superhero mask on it. Um, we've got women's brains. Brains. And that's it. So we're gonna go with this, nah, um, meh. I don't know, I think we'll just go with, uh, this hair, and I'm gonna make it a bit fun colored. Cause why not? Probably gonna end up with all these being superhero esque, so yeah. Um, so we'll give her that and move on to the clothes. The clothes! Um, so this fur out fur fur first outfit we have is western style. Um, cute little vest with a badge and things. Um, oh, gotta turn the filter on. Need to filter the content. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, so yes, there we have it. Nothing really I'm fascinated with, but it's nice. Nicely done. Um, and then we've got the pants. Once again, not my cup of tea. And we've got a skirt that follows the western theme as well. Um, it's nice. I like the little the pleating in there and stuff, so that's nice. Uh, let's move on to the outfits. Alright, so we've got this dress. It's nice, nice. Very detailed again, 
the detail on all this stuff is really just beautiful. Um, it's very flattering and it actually looks like it fits well. Usually the, you know, these T-length dresses from The Sims are a little awkward looking, but I like how it's, you know, it's fitted really nice around her waist and things, and then it just, it, it fits. So I am at least happy with that. Um, let's take off these gloves. Or is that part of the, that's part of the outfit. Okay, my bad. I don't like the gloves. If anyone out there makes custom content, if you make a version of this dress without the gloves, that would be fabulous. Because I don't like them. Yes. Gotta wait for this to load again. Alright, we've got this dress, which I love. Um, I love this style. I love this time period. Um, glamorous, but classy. Before everyone just started, you know, letting all their junk hang out. Um, yeah, sexy but sophisticated. So I, I really like this one a lot. Um, I will find a use for this. It's beautiful, it's beautiful dress, and again, it fits well. Um, which is not the norm for the long dresses. Um, this is, oh, very, very sexy. Um, I like it. I like the slit in the leg. I don't think we have a lot of outfits with that and the little, the little garter showing through. Um, the little lace finger gloves. I really like it. Um, this I'd probably use. Like, fairly often. I think it's really nice. It's very nice. So yeah, this is nice. I approve. Um, come on. And disclaimer, I apologize if I ramble. I've never done an overview or anything, so, you know. Uh, so this matches the patchworky type thing. I don't know if this is supposed to be like more of like thriller, horror type um, clothes, but this is actually kind of cute. I like it. I like it better than the men's. The men's version was a little bit too crazy for me. So yeah, this is nice. I like. Uh, we've got another old dress. And this one looks a little bit more... Uh, I don't know. I don't hate it. I don't know how I feel about it being frayed on the bottom there. I think that takes a lot away from it. For me personally, I think it's supposed to look distressed though. Um, but yeah, it's, eh, I got nothing else to say about that. This is beautiful. Like for, like for the supernatural expansion pack for like witches, this is gorgeous. Or like a vampire. Ugh. Like I love this. I absolutely love this. It's so perfect. So perfect. I'm in love. Um, what do we have here? More patchworky stuff. But you know what? This is actually kind of nice. It's it's weird, but it with customization, I think it could be cute. Cute for like a quirky formal dress for a sim. And to the superhero stuff. Um, yeah. Pretty sure you all know how I feel about the superhero stuff, so we'll just click through it. Um, I, I love them. And this is fabulous. This is so, like, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I love it. And, um, yeah, I mean, they're all just awesome. This is my favorite absolute favorite. I think it's beautiful. 
I think it's fabulous. Wouldn't change a thing about it. So we're leaving her in that. On to the shoes. We've got these little guys. Little um, kitten heels with a bow around the ankle. So they're actually really cute. I will definitely be using these. Can never have enough cute heels. Oh, uh, we've got some boots. These are actually really nice boots. Um, really nice. Definitely better than the men's. But what else is new? I will absolutely be using these. Um, these are nice as well. If they fit well under pants, I will also be using these. They're really nice. Some more boots. Um, these are kind of cute kind of cute for, you know, if they fit, if the jeans fit in them or leggings or something, customize them and they'd be cute little spring welly type boots. And then the matching boots, which I just love because I love this outfit so much. So there's no accessories. Um, we'll take a quick look at the kids stuff. Not really going to spend a lot of time on that. Um, alright, so in the hair with accessories we've got this weird little beaver thing, I don't really know what this is, but it's awkward, and then we've got a helmet type thing without it. I don't particularly like these, so we're just gonna not do that. Um. We're gonna just going to put that on there and move along. Um, clothes. For ladies, we have... Oh, got a filter again. We have this outfit, which is very Wednesday Adams-ish. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're probably a lot younger than me, and you should go look up the Adams family. Anyway... Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, and then there's this little superhero jumpsuit squirrel fox thing. I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to be. Um, I don't think there's separates. Nope. So we'll just leave her in that. And throw some booties on it. Um, I guess we'll switch over. I'll make you a, a boy real quick. I'm pretty sure it'll be about the same except for that dress. Um, yeah, so we have this for the boys instead of that dress. And yeah, I don't... meh. That's that. So that is all for the create a sim. I'm gonna jump into build by and show you those items. So I'll see you in a second. Alright, so we're back, and there is a whole lot of stuff in this stuff pack. Um, so basically what we've got here is, um, we'll start with the cars out front. We've got this Batmobile type thing. It's very, very fancy. It's, um, 200,000 simoleons to buy. Um, comes with the different color presets. So there's that. There is also this little motorcycle thing, which I really like. It's really cute. A um, couple different colors to choose from. So there is that. Moving on. In the miscellaneous decorations, we've got this jar of brain, eyeballs, and that kind of stuff there. Um, you know, for your everyday villain. We've got this giant hand, um, which would make an interesting decoration. Oh, look at the plum bob. If you look really close, there's a plum bob on the glove there. So that's a nice little touch. Um, dining chairs, there are two. Um, two different to choose from. And they come in a couple different colors, again. So, some nice high back chairs. I really love this color. It's nice. Don't really like the whole key theme thing. But, you know, that also means uh, 
a few different patterns have come with this pack, which is always nice to have more patterns to work with. We're waiting on uh, create a style here. And then we've got this chair. Reminds me of a little bit of a, you know, Alice in Wonderland type theme with the, the curly back. It's really nice. Uh, we've got two things. We've got another all-in-one bathroom, uh, which originally came with the Island Paradise. But we've got another one of those now. And again, you can change the color however you wish. Um, and then probably one of my favorite things in this stuff pack is this shower disguised as a phone booth. I don't know why. But I think it is the coolest thing ever. I think it'd be cool for like a cool loft style place apartment. Um, I love it. I think it's so adorable. So yeah, that's one of my favorites. Um, we've got this bookshelf which matches some of the other furniture. Some of the more gothic type um, furniture. I like it. Um, this would be cute for a kid's room. I mean, a creepy kid's room because there's a bunch of poor abused stuffed animals in there. Um, this is like a, um, a vanity. It's the superhero vanity type thing. I like it. I believe it can be used as a dresser as well as to change appearance. And then we've got this dresser which fits the western theme. Really, really nice dresser. I love the detail of the little bottles on there. It's lovely. And then, of course, we've got the superhero dresser. Because you can't... Where are you going to hide all your super... Super... The, the hero outfits. If not for a superhero dresser. I'm going to close out of that and give... Let that have a break. Um, so that's all the stuff outside. We'll go over to the doors real quick. Um, and get, oops, get that out of the way. So we've got a couple different doors. We've got four, to be exact. Um, we've got this one, which is, um, you know, very vampire doom and gloom, but it's a very nice door. If you're into that kind of thing, this will be useful to you. And then there's this creepy spider door. Which I can't say I'm a fan of, but the design is beautiful. It's very well done. I'm just not a big fan of the spiders. And then we've got this uh, saloon style door. Very nice. Um, you know, if you, if you want to make yourself a saloon, there you go. And then possibly my favorite because it reminds me of Tron, which if you watch my other videos you've heard me talk about before. It's the laser door. I don't know if it really lights up at night. We'll have to test that. But I love this. I will definitely be using the crap out of it for into the future. Um, oh yeah, it does light up. Oh my god, it's so cool. It lights up. Lights up, guys. Day is made. So, yeah. Um, to the back side, we have three different type of movie... Uh, backdrop screens which are really cool this one I love um, kind of reminds me like I don't know I like it it's really cool um, and then we have a Western backdrop and a graveyard backdrop not entirely sure how much I'd use these but they are neat so neato inside we have these and these were in the lighting so I'm gonna also assume that they light up which it looks like they do a little bit. Um, so we have this super ray thing, which is really neat. And this, which is freaking awesome. I love it. It reminds me of The Incredibles. I'm just obsessed with this. It is everything. Um, so there's the superhero chest thing. It's in the lighting section. Um, there's this superhero table, which is also really cool. Um, I like it. 
I, ooh, I like this. This would be good for into the future. See? Look what taking off a little logo can do for you. It's a really nice table. Futuristic, modern, sleek. Um, there's this table, which is, I'm assuming, a super villain table. Um, it's got those pointy ends, and it's got some maps on it with little targets, so someone's plotting something. Really nice table. I like it. Uh, we've got some end tables. Oh, we've got these curtains. Can't forget the curtains. A couple different styles there for you. Oh, uh, we got these two end tables. This one's more of a western-y feel. Now this one I like. It's got snakes as the base of it. I don't know how well you can really see it, but... Um, the base of the table is actually like, um, cobras, I think. Yeah. Um, it's a really beautiful table. I really, really like that one. Um, what else? We've got this bar. Um, the saloon bar that came with it. Uh, it also came with a bar stool. So that's nice. I like the piping style down there that, you know, if any of you were old enough to go to bars and you go to bars and you go to a, you know, really old, old, like, dive bar style, they have the metal rails. It's really nice. Um, a new rocking chair. I actually really like this rocking chair. I like the leather detailing on it. Um, it's beautiful. We've got this picture, which is kind of like a, a fallback from the wall picture. And, you know, some cowgirl stuff. Don't know what else do we got. We've got a cowboy and then a beautiful woman on a couch wrapped in a blankie. Uh, we've got this, um, what's it called? Fireplace. I almost called it an oven. Fireplace. It's really beautiful with the creepy eyes and the shape of it. And then it's got the snakes on the sides. It's very nice. Very beautiful. Um, we've got, I'm actually going to delete this because it blocks a lot of view. Um, we've got this couch which kind of fits with the gothy style theme. And if you can see, there's some claws on the um, corners. Yep, that's what it's called, a corner. It's also got claw feet, which is really cute. I like it. Um, I would definitely change the patterns on it. Oh yeah, you can see the detail a lot better there. Definitely change the pattern, but overall it's a really beautiful couch. Um, we've got the throne of either good or evil, whichever you choose to be, I suppose. Um, yeah, so that's neat. Came with two beds. First of all, we've got this light thing, this candle fixture, mabob. Um, yeah, it's nice. Pretty. Can either have it different colored or normal colored. I like the different colored. I think it's pretty. Um... Yeah, it lets off a decent amount of light, too. So we've got two beds. We've got this um, western-y sweet sleep cowgirl bed. Um, I like it. It's nice. That's all I got to say about it. And then we've got this more gothic style. I don't, I don't really know necessarily if that's gothic style, but that's what I'm going to call it because that's all I've got to say. Um, I really love this. I think it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So, that's my opinion on the bed. And I do believe... Oh, this table. Coffee table. It's very, very spindly and pretty and would not be good to have around children because those tiny little legs would just snap right off. So, good to know. Now you know. Um, oh, around the back we've got some decor. We've got a little wanted poster sign and a saloon sign. And with that, I do declare that is all the things to see from this stuff pack. Um, so it's $20 uh, US dollars. Not sure what that equates to in euros or pounds or wherever your money 
is called what it is. Um, cause I don't live there, so I don't know. I apologize for that. Um, now, I was very unenthused about this stuff pack up until about two days ago, and I really think it was just for this outfit. Um, okay. So, how I feel about it. I think there is a lot of super cool stuff in here. Like, I actually really enjoy almost everything in theory. Would I use most of this in my games? I'd say I'd probably use, between the outfits and the furnishings and everything, I'd end up using probably about 50% of it um, regularly. I mean, as, as regularly as I use the other stuff. Um, some of it I won't use simply because it's just not my style. I don't have a lot of use for it. Some of it, like the superhero stuff, I mean, what are you going to do with a lot of it? Um, again, with End of the Future coming out, you can tell a lot of great stories with some of this stuff. Um, so, it depends on how you play. I definitely don't regret spending the $20 on it. Because it's a lot of cool stuff that I'm sure eventually down the line I'll end up using most of it for something. Even if it's just like, you know, a cheesy photo shoot or a little mini series or something. So it's really your call. It's, um... I really don't know. It's hard to say whether or not it's worth it because it depends on how you play. If you really love telling stories of different time periods and stuff, this is definitely a great stuff pack for you. There's a lot to do. Um, the outfits, I'd say about maybe half of them can be used for normal gameplay. I don't know. Um, was it worth $20? Um, yeah, I mean, you get a lot of stuff. It's hard to say whether or not something was worth it. It, it all comes down to personal opinion. I like it. I think it was worth the money. I think all of the stuff, even if it's not your style, it's all very well done. The detailing and the time they put into this for a final stuff pack, I'm actually not disappointed. I thought I was going to be, I thought it was going to be stupid and I wasn't going to buy it until, you know, a couple months down the road when they go on sale for like $5 on Origin. But yeah, I'm kind of glad I decided to get it. I like it. So that's my rambly speech about it. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. If you have it, let me know how you like it, what your favorite stuff is. If you don't have it, let me know if you're planning on getting it or what your opinions are on it because I would love to know and chat about it. So I'm going to leave that here and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.